All right, so um, I'm going to post the link to the BitGet platform on the chat. If you have not signed up for an account already, you have to sign up for an account. And um, you have to the end of um, this year actually to you know, sign up for an account and then deposit some funds into your account. Then you can get the trial funds. Now to explain, the trial funds are not withdrawable. When BitGet fund the account with the trial fund, you cannot withdraw those funds, but you can trade with those funds. You can copy traders and whatever profit you made with those trial funds, you keep 100% of those uh, profit to yourself. And those profit can be withdrawable. You can sell them, you can do whatever you want to do with them, but the trial fund itself is what you cannot use. The only thing you can use the trial funds for is to use it to trade and then use it to copy traders. Then the profit that proceeds from it, you keep 100% of it to yourself. So I'll just post the link for anyone who has not signed up yet on, in, 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 on the chat. So you can go ahead and sign up for an account and I'll tell you how to actually get those trial funds at the end of the meeting. So if you are using, joining this meeting with your laptop, with your desktop, then just use the desktop link, um, the web link. Then if you're using your phone, you can use the mobile link to sign up for BitGet account. Now with that being said, um, what we are looking at in this meeting is, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to end passive income. When I mean passive income, it means that you just press one or two buttons, let the system run for you um, without you being there to do um, the work yourself. So I'm going to work you out to end passive income aside. It both in, in actually is going to be both passive and active income. Now in the crypto space, there are various ways you can end passive income in crypto. And there are various ways you can actually end active income. Now the difference between these two is that one, you are actively involved in it. For instance, if you are a day trader, you need to be actively involved in, you know, uh, reading charts, studying the market, following the news, following the trend to make sure that every now and then, in a, for that period of time that you are going to trade, your focus and concentration must be on your chart to help you determine when you are going to make a good decision that will help you make profit in the market. So you are actively involved in trading the crypto market yourself, and then you make profit from there. But passively means that you can use bots to trade. You can use um, copy traders, just you know, deposit your funds into your account and copy traders, and you know the money keep coming in um, passively while you go about your daily activities. With that being explained, I will now go um, jump into BitGet Exchange and let us um, walk you through it. But before we go into BitGet, if you come here to Coin Market Cap, if you will come here, if you want to know how relevant the particular exchange is, Coin Market Cap, both not just the exchange, the, the crypto token itself, everything you want to know about the crypto uh, space, cryptocurrency itself, the exchanges and the rest, you can find a lot of information on Coin Market Cap. So if I come here on the Coin Market Cap website and I come into where it says exchanges. Here on the exchanges, if I click on derivative, here you see uh, coin market cap is ranking some of these exchanges according to their performance in the market. So you see here um, Binance, OKS, and all of these. But here our focus is on BitGet. BitGet currently is ranking number nine. It's ranking number nine in the market when it comes to derivative trading. And so far in the world right now, as it stands around the world, BitGet is your number one um, go-to place when it comes to copy trading. Copy trading that I refer to is not the kind of copy trading, um, spot trading. Now, if you understand how trading works in cryptocurrency, you'll know that uh, there is a big difference between spot trading and features. When we talk about derivative, we talk about features, we talk about virtual swap and other um, um, options or derivative trading that you can find in most of these exchanges. So BitGet is a cryptocurrency exchange where you can trade features, you can trade spot. Then what makes it different from every other exchange that you can ever think of is actually the copy trading feature that is embedded into it. Now with a copy trading option, you don't really need 
to know how to trade cryptocurrency. You don't really need to know how to read charts. You don't really need to know how to do technical analysis before you can make profit in this space. I'm going to share my result with you so far um, that, that I've been copying traders on this platform and then um, let you know how this actually works. So now when it comes to derivative trading, when it comes to official trading, it is very rare you see either bots or platform where you can copy um, some expert and get, um, let's say up to 90% accuracy when it comes to copying the trader. So it's very difficult, but BitGen has actually made it possible for professional traders to create rooms for newbies, you know, for people who don't have an idea of how this play out, uh, trading stuff works for you to be able to copy them. So it is a very popular exchange out there. And I've made mention of when you are getting involved in crypto, the number one risk you should be aware of is the platform risk. There's what we call platform risk. The platform you get involved in matters a lot. Whether you want to trade or you want to give out your money for um, some persons to trade for you, that platform matters a lot. So you need to pay attention to this. And that is why when it comes to choosing cryptocurrency exchange, I made mention initially of a particular exchange some, somewhere in South Africa that actually ran away with a lot of persons' money um, in the name of being hacked and so on. So you need to be careful. And then when it comes to credibility, I actually give that to BitGet um, because they have all it takes to actually choose, um, let me remove this, um, to actually start trading with them. And my focus there majorly is on this one feature, which is the copy trading option, which I'll be walking you through on how it works. You can trade any other uh, type of trading spot features, and you can do that manually if you want to, but what if you don't have the skill, if you don't know how, that is what when BitGet comes in. And before I jump into the features one after the other, I just want to let us know here that if I scroll down here, these are some of the major partners of the BitGet exchange. Now, BitGet is, um, um, a major partner, they are, one of their major partner is Juventus Football Club. So they are their sleeve partner, as you can see on the sleeve here, it is actually branded BitGet here, meaning that um, BitGet is actually up for something big and something good. Now, another thing that is worth mentioning here is that every exchange, every crypto exchange that we get involved in, actually has what is called their own native token, their own governance token, their own native token, and BitGet has its own native token. I've made mention of this. I made a video about it, um, that the BitGet native token could be a, a token that will be making you um, 10x, you know, if not 100x in the nearest future. And the reason why I say that, if I go to the spot trading option here, and let me um, search for the B, the ticker for the BitGet token is actually BGB. That is the ticker for the BitGet token, BGB. If I go ahead and click that, let it open up so that I'll show you. I made a video like two weeks ago, yeah, two weeks ago, about this BitGet token. And as of when I made, after I published that video, this um, token actually dropped from around 0.086 or thereabout to around 0.060, 0.060 meaning that if you have bought this token as at the time I made that video, you would have been making a lot of profit for the past few days that this coin or this token has been on the rise. It has been on the rise. And the beautiful thing about this token is that majority of the exchanges you get involved in, their tokens are either $20, $30, like Binance is almost $600 now. And the same Binance token that people are benefiting from now it is something people were buying in less than a dollar sometime in 2017. So it was less than a dollar a few years ago. So another thing you should be paying attention to, even if you do not grab anything in this meeting, one thing is that once you create your account with BitGet, try as much as you can to buy whatever you can afford this BitGet token. The essence of buying it is not to buy and sell the next day, but you are buying and holding because if you buy now that is 0.008, for instance, um, when it gets to, let's say a few years to come, when it gets to $5, it is all to your advantage. If it gets to $10, it is all to your advantage. If it gets to $20, whatever the price gets to, it is all to your advantage. So presently, um, it has about 500 million, I guess, 500 million or thereabouts in circulation. Um, 
and then the total circulation is about a billion plus. You get those details when you go to Coin Market Cap here. Um, details about this token can you can find them here when I come in here. Type BGP, which is the native token. Um, this is a big get token. So you can find more details about this token on Coin Market Cap. Um, this is a bonus. You can go ahead and get these tokens now, or wait for it to drop a bit. That is, it's going to drop actually uh, up to more than what it is right now. You can still get them when it is less than a dollar. So as I said earlier on BitGet, you can trade features when it comes to features trading. If I come in here to the features, you have um, USDT um, M features, and then you have Coin M features. Now the difference between these two, if I select the USDT M features, it means that I need to have USDT in my balance to be able to trade this market. So if I choose USDT M feature, it means that here on my account, I need to have um, some USDT to be able to trade this market. And whatever the trading at the end of the contract, the futures trading contract, I'll be settled back with USDT. So I'm trading with USDT and if I make profit, my profit will come back to me in USDT. Why the, M, the coin M features means that if I have Bitcoin and I don't want to sell the Bitcoin into USDT, I just want to retain my uh, Bitcoin. I am going to trade in Bitcoin. It means that I need to have Bitcoin to be able to trade. And if I click on it, you can see um, every other coin that is supported on the coin and features. Um, Ethereum is supported, SRP is supported, meaning that if you want to trade this kind of trade, you need to have Ethereum, you need to have Bitcoin, you need to have ESO, you need to have Bitcoin, Cash, Litecoin, all of these coins that are supported here. These are all of the tokens that you need in your account. So if I trade with Bitcoin, whenever uh, my contract ends and I'm settled, I am settled in Bitcoin, not in USDT. So that is the difference between the USDT M features and then the Coin M features. But our focus there is on USDT because we always want to make profit and then convert that money back immediately to USDT uh, to avoid losses when the price you know, dips and the rest. So if you want to trade, you can come in here and, you know, um, trade. This is the future trading interface of the BitGet platform. Um, you see that currently I have some trade running, and uh, some of these trades are in profit, some are in loss, and, and the rest. You see um, liquidation price, everything set up here. But this is a copy trading, actually. I'm not the one carrying out this trade. I'm copying a trader. I am actually copying a trader. So if you want to trade yourself, this is where you come in here. And then if you want to trade spot, if I go back to BitGet Exchange, you go into the home page. I just showed you how to trade spot. You can come in here to the spot option and click on it. But what I want to focus on majorly in this meeting is the copy trading option. So if I click on the copy trading option, this is the interface where it brings us to. Now on the copy trading option, you see these are the professional traders that you can actually copy. And if you're in this meeting, and you know how to trade features very well, if you're a professional in this field, there is an option for you to become a trader as well. There is an option for you to become a trader, meaning that while you trade with your own funds, you are making profit from your own funds. Other newbies, other traders can equally copy your strategies, copy your trades. And at the end of the day, whatever profit you make for them, 10% of that comes back to you. Because if I come in here and I say I want to copy a trader, any of this trader that I copy here, I am going to whatever that I end here, for instance. Now, what you note here is that some of these persons have purchased that the same full. All of these ones are safe full. This is what it means. This person has made room to for 150 persons to be able to copy um, his or her trade. Right now, this person has 150 persons already. So that is why you can no longer copy this person. Um, this person, and you can see statistics of their results. These statistics are based on their activities on the BitGet exchange. The statistics we are looking at right here, is saying that their return for the last three weeks, their return on investment is about 68, and their return on cumulative uh, trading is about this. The money they have made in the past three weeks is about 7,000 USDT plus. So you see this person is about 1,000 1, plus, and then he has made about 13,000 USDT um, this trader, I am always looking, as you can see, he made room for about 225 persons to copy. So I've been following, for instance, if I want to copy this person now, all I need to do, do 
he, the trading um, um, option, he, he, I can no longer copy him because his space is filled up. But what I can do is if I click on his trade, and click on his column here. When I come in here, what I can do is I can do slot reminder. The essence of this slot reminder is for me to be reminded whenever um, there is a, a vacuum, whenever there is a space for me to copy this trigger. So if I come in and I click on these three weeks, you see the performance of this trigger for the past three weeks, um, the number of trades he has carried out. This person has been trading on this platform for the past 137 days. He has been trading for the past 137 days and he always has 225 person which he has made rules for, always following him. So the pairs that this person is trading is BTC, BCH, uh, which is Bitcoin Cash, BTC, um, Ethereum, and then Phil USDT, and then XRP USDT. These are the pairs that this person is trading. And his win rate is about 96.43%. This is amazing. His win rate is about this. And then he has been able to make this for the past three weeks. This is the profit he has been able to accumulate for the past three weeks. And then this is the history of his trade. As you can see here, this are the history of his trade. You can come in here, you see um, the profit he has been making and the losses so far for the first page here, there are no losses. As you can see, even the second page, there are no losses. It's about 20%. You know, he has been making and he's trading with 50X. You no, know, all of his trade there are 50X and the rest. Currently, he has about 30 trades ongoing. These are trades that are ongoing, and some of these trades are swing trade. Because if we come in here, why is it swing trade? It means that it can last for more than a day. Um, you will see when this person opened this trade. This was around 20 dots. So, okay, this trade was open today. And then the market, he, was it today? Open time was um, yes, 20 dot here. Yeah. Today is actually 24. Okay, this was yesterday. He entered the market at 49 and then he's shutting the market actually. So you see all of the ongoing trade here. He has about 30 trades ongoing right here. And some of the trades that he has closed on recent are all in profit. So you see some of these trades that are currently running. If you want to get a summary of all of the details this person has been trading, you get all of those for this particular trader and then the history and so on. Now that is for that person. If you want to, you can use slot reminder to be able to copy this person whenever it's trade. But all of these ones you see, hope are follow. These things I'm showing you, you can do them with the mobile app. I will demonstrate that maybe before the end of the meeting. This person you see that says follow. Uh, normally what I do, if I want to copy a trader, I'll come in here and use the filter here. Um, by default, it is by ranking. So it means that this person is ranking number one, number two, and it goes on like that. Um, but I normally use, um, the cumulative return. I can use the cumulative return or the return on investment based on the cumulative. If I click on this, it gives you all of this option. And this person has 100% win rate and he has made room for 75 persons to copy him, um, to copy his trade. Right now, it is only 11 out of the 75 that are copying him. So if I want to copy this person, for instance, I'll just go ahead and click on him. Uh, this person has made about this in the past three weeks this person has 99.2 um, percent win rate and um, the accumulative transaction is about 700 this person is 500 and then this person for the past three weeks he has about 300 and so on and then his win rate is about 94 percent so the trader i just copied right now now in the previous one you saw um slight reminder but this one you see full here that is because this person still have space for me to copy his strategy so if I want to copy his strategy, I just go ahead and click on follow and I'll be able to copy this person. Right now, this person is trading only BTC USDT. This trader is trading only BTC. There's only one pair that the trader is trading. And then for the past three weeks, this is the result this person has made for the past three weeks. And this is his trade history. You see here, this trade was closed on the uh, 10th and it made about 350% this, all of this trade history. Currently, he doesn't have any trade ongoing. And um, I can go ahead, for instance, if I want to copy this trade, I'll just go ahead and click on follow. And when I click on follow, it brings me to this page. But one thing I want you to note before you copy any trader, because some of these traders are trading with 50X, some are trading with 25, um, 125X, 100X, and all of this high leverage. What you need to do on the big get exchange before you copy any trader is first, you need to come in here to your officials account and then go to USDT M Fishers and click on it. 
and set up your own leverage. For instance, I want to copy a trader, even if the trader is trading the whole coin in the market. I want to copy only his BTC trade. If the person is trading BTC, I want to copy only his BTC trade. So what I can do is I can come in here and select BTC. This is BTC USDT. And then when I come in here, I want to set by default what you see here, the margin will always be on the cross margin. Now I can't change this because I have some trade running already. But make sure if you're on the cross margin, make sure that you change it from cross to isolated. And the reason for this is because we want to only raise, for instance, if I come in here to this trade that I'm currently running, um, the margin for this is about um, 17 USDT. So if for any reason my account is liquidated, it means that I can only um, lose this 17 USDT and not everything on my account. But if I'm using cross and I'm liquidated, if for any reason liquidation is showing up on my account, liquidation price is showing up on my account, once I hit that liquidation price and my account is liquidated, I'm going to lose everything. So even when the trader you're copying is trading with 50X, with 20X, with 100X, you can actually tell the trader that, no, I don't want to use that high amount of leverage. I want to use my own leverage. In this case, I set my own leverage to 10X. I was using 20X before. And then I, I noticed that when the market dips, I lose a lot of money. So I just decided to set it to 10X. And when I have more funds, I can actually change it to 20 or 50 years, depending. So I change it to 10X um, for my BTC, because that is the most trade that I, I often have. And uh, for you, Ethereum, for the Ethereum, I, leave, I left this at, at 20X. So for any Ethereum trade that I'm copying right now, it will be at 20X. And I've changed this to isolated as well. So always make sure that you change it from cross to isolate it and then change your leverage here. After that, the next thing you want to do is to transfer funds that you want to use to copy a trader into your official account. Right now, I have about 157 USDT here, and this is an account I started trading with just 50 USDT. I started trading, copying a trader with just 50 USDT, and I've been able to raise it up to this amount. So what I can do right here is to make sure that I transfer funds from my spot wallet because by default when you deposit funds into your account it will go straight to your spot wallet so make sure that you transfer the funds from your spot wallet to your official's account you can equally do that when you want to copy the trader right now i clicked on this trader and if i come in here this trader is trading only btc for instance if you have other coins here i will just uncheck all of them and only check the btc so if you want to transfer funds to your official's account you click on this transfer option here and then you can transfer funds from your spot account to your official's account. Once you go ahead, if I click on all here, I can go ahead and confirm this. And this will automatically transfer all these funds into my official's account. So once I have that funds on my account, the next thing I want to do, um, if I are copying a trader that is trading more than one pay, you have this unified setting. The unified setting is using the setting, for instance, if this trader is trading BTC, Ethereum, um, Litecoin, and the rest, and I want to copy all of those um, peers, I have the option of using respective settings, meaning that this, I will have to set different settings for either Ethereum, BTC, um, Litecoin, and the rest. But if I use unified setting, whatever setting that I put here will be the same setting that will go for all of the trade, for all of the trade. Now, what I can do here um, is I always use fixed amount. I always use the fixed amount. If you over override it to explain what fixed amount and then fixed ratio is all about. So I always use fixed amount. And here it tells you that the minimum is from 10 USDT to 3,000 USDT. That is the minimum you can start copying. Now, what it simply means is that if I put 10 USDT here, for every position that is open on my account, for every position that is open on my account, it will be within that range of 10 USDT. It can't go above 10 USDT. If I click on the advanced option here, you have the maximum, whatever you want. Normally, if I want to copy, I can put 20 USDT here and equally put 20 here. So it means it has to trade within this range. For any position, though I have, let's say I have 100 and something in my account, it will not trade with the $100 as a goal. So if I have three positions open, it means that this position that, I, that is open on my account will be between these 20 USDT to this 20 USDT that I have actually added here. So it could be lesser, but it cannot be more than this because I've said that the maximum should be 20 USDT. So these are basically what I do here. 
um, and then the stop loss ratio and take profit ratio, I just leave it open. I leave it open, I don't put anything there. But as this trade is currently going, you saw some of the trade that, which I will show you in a moment. I have a trade that is currently running. If I'm not comfortable with the trade, I can manually close by just coming here to close this trade and take profit. So once I finish on this, I just click on next. Once I click on next, it will tell you that this is your settings. You just go ahead and click on confirm. And right now I'm already following this trader. So if I come in here, this is my trading space. And now if I come in here, you see, um, let it load up. You'll see my copy trading, the persons that I'm copying already going on. But why that is loading up, I come here to the history. This is the history of all of the trades that I've carried out. Um, these are the history of my trades. You can see the profit that I'm making is about 50, 50 something cent. At times it is $1, at times like this one, $1, at times it is two, at times it is $3. These are all the history of my trades. Some it is two, three dollars, and it goes on like that and like that. These are all the histories of my trade. And I call in cure losses uh, sometimes. Yes, I do in cure losses sometimes. The fact that I'm copying and a professional trader doesn't mean that the trader does not incur losses. In most cases, I manually close this trade when I'm no longer comfortable with them. So I do incur losses. But the profit that I've made in this market so far is far more better than the, the losses that I've incurred. Right here, you see um, two USDT three, and it goes on like that. These are all my trade history, and I think I have some trades that are running, which I showed you in a moment. Um, let that open up. It's actually opening up. But if you want to see your traders, if I come in here and click on my traders, you will see these are all my traders, and the trader I just copied right now is this person. This is the trader I just copied, and so far the trader that has made me the most money or the most profit is this law of nature. Uh, you can see here, this is the profit this person has made for me so far. And this person has made me this, this person has made me this. I have actually lost uh, $2 plus or thereabout with this particular trader. So these are just the, the, the tricks to uh, you know, copy the trader. Right here, I will keep copying this trader because this trader, I like his own trade. If I don't want to follow any of this trader, for instance, like this person I just copy, I click on edit. If I click on edit, I can just come in here and follow the trader. And that trader will completely be removed from my list. So basically, these are step by step, guys, on what you can actually start doing copying a trader with the BitGet platform. I just want to show you the trades that are currently running. I don't know why. Okay, these are the trades that are running. And this one has made me about 30 cents. I'm losing $4 in this one already. Uh, I'm still monitoring BTC as well. So I would let the trade run. And um, this one has been running for the past. Uh, this trade was opened, um, when was it did? Open price, open, open time. Okay, this one was on the 23rd, which was yesterday. Um, this one was open today. And you see that it's trading with um, 10X leverage. If you actually go to this trader, let me click on move. The trader here is this rocket man. If I, um, let me go to my traders, rocket man is this person that I've lost money, okay. This is the trader. So if I come in here to the trader, if you go check out the trading settings or the history of this particular trader, you will notice that this trader right now he's trading BTC um, and then BTC USD. But my focus is because I have USDT, I don't need to copy um, USD. USD are for countries of, that allow you to deposit US dollars that are really into your account, but my own is that I've converted my own local currency into USDT. So I just selected this and then uncheck this. Now, if you notice that this, this trader may be trading with uh, 50 years leverage and the rest, but because I have set up my own to be 20x or 10x, it will only copy with my own settings that I put on my trading, on my futures trading account. So this is like a brief rundown on how to actually use the BigGet platform. So with the copy trading option, you are sure of any passive income steady on this platform. Just as I showed you right here, um, I've been able to actually increase my funds. You know, at the point I lose some money, but I was persistent, consistent in it, you know, just copying a particular trader, trying out some traders that I know can work well for me, most especially the law of nature. The guy has been very good and he has been making some profit for me so far trading in the market. 
So basically, that is all I have here. And I think every other thing I have to say here will be based on your question. If you ask a question, I throw more light on that and you'll be able to understand it better. So I'll make that available. You can unmute yourself. You can use the chat section or just unmute yourself and make your comment. So if you want to start trading with uh, or copying traders, whatever you don't understand, you just ask your question and I'll throw more light based on the questions you're going to ask. Any question as regards using the BitGet platform? Do you have any question? Um, someone chatted me and said, how do you buy crypto with, uh, with the BitGet option? Now, the buy option on the crypto, um, BitGet option, if you're in Nigeria or in other African countries where you can only buy crypto via P2P, then you cannot buy crypto on BitGet. You can buy from your exchange, Buy from your exchange and then you can transfer the funds directly into the BitGet exchange. So you can buy a set, you are in a country where you can use your credit card, then you can use you know credit or debit card to buy and then just proceed and purchase whatever you want to purchase it, then tell you the price and what you are going to receive and it's automatically deposited into your account. But if you're in Nigeria, you can't buy crypto with the BitGet option. Hopefully, as time, uh, as, as we move on, I believe BitGet will be able to integrate the P2P option so that you can easily buy from the BitGet option, sell from the BitGet option. So it means that if you want to start trading, you need to come in here to your profile, click on asset, and then here on the asset page, you can go ahead and click on deposit select usdt for instance select usdt and then make sure you are selecting trs 20 because of charges the fee and then copy this address go to your exchange and transfer your funds there and you are good to go yes um tony please promote yourself and make your input <laughs> yeah good evening good evening uh, well done uh i i want to ask if um now, in the big get, if you are copying traders, let's say I have a, see the minimum, you can copy uh, ten dollars as minimum. Now, I have a, if I have like a, let's say a hundred dollars, will I be able to say I want to use twenty dollars to copy and copy five traders? No, 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 no. You can't copy five traders. The minimum Possibly. you can actually use there is. You can copy as many traders as you want. Now, this is what happened. What happened mm. is I have, um, right now, I have about uh, four or five traders on, on my account of developer. But in most cases, when you, you will always see um, the notification that copy failed, copy trader failed, copy trader failed. That is because you don't have enough. For, you can use 20 years to start copying a trader. But the first trader that triggers a trade, that is the person that will use some of the funds that you are using. Okay. You, you understand? Yes. And then in most cases, if the trader's rule is that they cannot trade less than ten dollars or whatever, you will not be able to copy whatever that particular trader is copying at that moment. Okay. If the person is trading um, coin um, and features like um, this, if you come here to features, you have the coin and features, and then you have USDT, you will not be able to copy the trader. But those five traders will be showing up as your traders in your account. But the person that initiated the first trade is only the person. If the person okay, uses all your funds, you understand. Okay. The person that is the only trader you copy, and then when that finish, you copy another trader. So, okay. Yes. Mm. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, you can since a feature, we know that you know how feature trade is. You can actually lost the whole of your phone. Now that they are experts in this uh, aspect, I think it is also possible that you can lose your lose your phone totally with, to them. Yes, you can you can lose your phone. That is why I say, um, if you are just starting up, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you use a lower leverage by coming here to the exchange and changing the leverage from uh, 20, 50, because these traders, now, what thing you should know is that these traders are trading with a high amount of money. Some of them are trading 
with millions and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Mm. So when they're using a higher leverage like what 100x and 50 years and the rest, it doesn't mean anything to them in their own account. But if you are using a little amount of funds on your account, you don't need to copy their own leverage. So you change your own leverage. That is one beautiful thing that they did here, that you can use your own settings to copy a particular trader. So make sure that you are using a lower leverage. And you can equally monitor the trade. You can use the mobile app of the BitGet platform to monitor your trade. You can monitor your trade. If I come in here to copy trade, and I go to this copy trade here, these trades that are running here, if if, for instance, I want to close and take profit at this 26 cent, I can just go ahead and click on close and it will close. If I click on more here, I can come in here to um, here where it says, you see this pencil icon here? If I click on it, I can edit my take profit levels and my uh, stop loss level. But one thing I do is that I monitor this. Whenever I'm, not, I'm, I'm comfortable with the price, the profit that the, this trader is making, I'll just go ahead and close and just click on close here. And it closes and take profit from it. Okay. Yes. So you can equally be monitoring and, and take profit um, at each interval so that you don't, because when you follow the trader, this trader can leave this uh, position open for like uh, one week, two weeks, and the rest, and it keep running. In as much as it does not hit their target uh, take, take profit level, they will not close the trade. But in your own area, if you are comfortable with it, you just close the trade and you actually leave the market. Okay, and uh, you can set your own leverage and uh, it will work. I, I thought maybe copying them means that uh, whatever they are doing from their back end is what is going to replicate in your own uh, your own end. Then you can actually uh, adjust your own leverage. Then what is it copying now? Is it that any any uh, any coin that they are trading is what you uh, will be trading or what? Exactly. The copying is that. After I've set up my leverage here and every other thing that I do here, once I click on that copy, whenever that trader initiates a trade, whether to long or short the market, automatically it reflects in my account. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Then when the trader closes the trade in profit, it reflects in my account. When they close the trade in loss, it reflects in my account. Okay, according to your own leverage, the percentage according, will drop according to the exactly, level. Exactly, exactly, okay, okay. exactly. So the leverage is based on what you have set up for your, for your account. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I get it now. Thank you so much. All right. Um, somewhere you can unmute yourself, but before then, I have a question here. Um, can you run two trades on the same platform? You can run as many trades as you want. There was a day I woke up and I saw um, about 10 trades on my account, and all of them were $1, $1, $1, $1 and immediately I couldn't wait. I closed all the trade and I made about, was it uh, 12, $13 at, the, at, the, at that instant. So you can open many trades in as much as you have enough funds to cover up. You can open many trades on your account. And uh, one thing that happened after I closed that trade at that one dollar trade is something said, at the end of the day, the market continued to increase. And then I would have made some money, even for $5 per those trade, but I, out of fear, I closed the trade. But I, I was still happy because I made profit out of it. Um, so yes, you can make open more than one trade. Okay, in uh, sorry. Account. In that case, now if you close, uh, if you close a trade manually, uh, what happened? Okay, that's to say you have uh, terminated those trade. It's only when he initiates another another trade. trade exactly. Okay. Exactly, okay. Exactly. When that person initiates, but if you are copying more than one trader, it means that if the person, even if the person does not initiate trade throughout that day, if another trader does, it automatically may reflect okay. in your in your account. All right, all right, all right. So from your, since you've started it before us and uh, from your experience, now what is the minimum you can use maybe to copy like two, two three traders at a time? Um, I started with, um, I started with uh, 50 USDT. I started with okay. 50 USDT, though I deposited more than 50 USDT, but I used part of the money to buy the BitGet native token. Uh, okay. Because I want, to, I want to be a holder of that token and I, I, I bought some. And then I use the 50 USDT to try to run the, the trading. So um, since I, I used it, it has been working for me. Um, so with 50, you can only try with 50. But um, somebody just asked, Austin is asking, how do you get the trial funds? The trial funds, to get the trial funds, you need a minimum deposit on your account. A minimum deposit of 100 USDT. 
if we have 100 years of your account, um, automatically that trial funds will be credited into your account and then you can use it. Once the trial funds is credited into your account, you can see it. If I come in here to my profile, you see the trial funds somewhere around here. If I come in here to my assets, and here, the trial funds will be credited to your officials account. So if I come in here to officials, you see where it says trial funds. So your funds will be here. And then you can use those trial funds to trade manually on officials account, or you can use it to copy other traders. So that is basically how to use this trial fund. Just have a minimum deposit of 100 years on your account and you'll be able to have that. Okay. Um, does it mean if you, if you if you transfer the hundred dollars, it does it mean you push it to futures account or is just send it in and it's just have it? Yes. Once you push it, just uh, transfer it to your futures account, and then okay. the trial funds will be credited. Then you can now use the trial funds to start copying or trading yourself. Okay. Right. Um. Somewhere you can unmute yourself. Okay. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Leo. Good afternoon. Um, I wanted to know, is it because I'm not true with my KIC on BigGet um, exchange? That's why um, when you go to my wallet, you see uh, there is lock pattern on um, the, the other cryptocurrencies as well. Yes, you need to complete um, your KYC. At least complete that first level of uh, submitting your ID. Um, the verifications are not that difficult, actually. I did this in one day. I one did day, that on okay. one day. So just do it. Once you complete the verification, you should be able to get started with it. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. That's all. All right. 